Oh, white Jesus. What are we going to do with you? I just, I find it so funny that the people who argue against taking down racist statues keep trying to come up with something to put at the end of their slippery slope. And we keep being like, yeah, no, I could do without that too. Right. They keep saying shit like, well, what, what are we going to tear down statues of George Washington just because he wore the teeth of the human beings that he owned? And we keep being like, how are you not hearing this? Right. And of course, the latest failed float in their parade of horribles was white Jesus. A bunch of heritage, not hate you, N-word lover types tried to, that rhetorical question on over the last week or so. And they're like, you yeah, know, well, next up, are you going to try to tear down the statues of Jesus? And we're like, I mean, I wouldn't stop you if you were tearing one down. I mean, if you guys wanted to do that, because like, honestly, what could be a greater symbol of racism than white Jesus? According to their religion, Jesus was the only perfect human being. Historically, of course, he's brown, but they turned him white because how could a perfect person be brown? Whiting up the guy the entire religion is supposed to emulate is the very definition of white supremacy. Hell, even referring to him by his anglicized name instead of, you know, the name he would have had is a vestige of white supremacy. And that's to be expected. It's a religion of racism, so we shouldn't be surprised that their symbol is racist even before we start setting it on fire. Think about it. What set Christianity apart from other religions of its day was, by and large, its claim to universality. Right? Most religions were, to varying degrees, exclusionary back then. They were a way of marking the in-group from the out-group. Our gods are different from their gods, and that's why we all stick together in our group. The idea of monotheism wasn't new. Obviously, they copied that off the Jewish kids' paper along with most of their holy book. Plenty of religions of the time believed that theirs was the only real God. But Christianity was one of the few that also believed they were supposed to convert every other damn body to their religion. Now, at first, that's just a cult with an aggressive growth strategy. But once that religion seeps into a culture at large, it's kind of hard to imagine how that doesn't lead to a us supremacy type attitude. You know, when Christians went out into the world, they were going out into the theological backwaters no matter which direction they went. Even when they happened upon cultures that were very clearly more advanced than their own, you know, like, like they did in China and the Middle East, their religion still convinced them that they were superior to these people. I mean, Jesus is the one true path to God, and these idiots had never even heard of him before. How advanced could they possibly be? And with those tenuous justifications, Christianity set out to enslave, colonize, loot, subjugate, and genocide every part of the world they could put their fucking feet on, all the while bearing the Bible as their badge. Inside their book, they found ready justification for every heinous crime they committed. White Jesus reigned over all of it in silent approval. But what if the Jesus they were worshiping looked like the Jesus of history? Would it have been harder to justify their crusades? If the people you were killing in Christ's name looked more like him than you did? Would it have been harder to maintain a skin color based system of slavery if your Messiah had the same skin color as your slaves? Would it have been as easy for the 20th century to embrace the racist underpinnings of eugenics if they had to declare Jesus inferior to get there? Now, the, the answers might be no across the board, right? Like, I, I mean, they do seem to know that Jesus was Middle Eastern. They do seem to recognize that he wasn't a white dude most of the time. But when they picture him, what do they picture? When they imagine the face of Christ, do they imagine a white face or a black one? And look, I'm a firm believer in historical forgiveness. You know, the Democratic Party was absolutely the party of racism for a long fucking time. And these days I'm a registered member. And what something represented historically doesn't have to be what it represents today. But if you want to change your reputation, you have to earn it. And sure, few Christian authorities still promote the kind of racism they did 100 or 200 years ago, but they still promote bigotry with no less abandon. You know, it's just a different, slightly more culturally acceptable bigotry. Any claim that the Christian religion has meaningfully progressed over the last couple hundred years has to deal with this question. Why can't Christians handle a historically accurate depiction of their savior? And before you say they can, let me direct you to all the backlash the Archbishop of Canterbury got last week when he suggested it was inappropriate to depict Jesus as a white European dude. Now, now don't get me wrong. I am not in the extreme sliver of a minority that is actually calling for depictions of white Jesus to be taken down. 
Okay, like too much of art history is tied up in that religion for that to make any fucking sense. And I don't know if the world could survive the orgasm tsunami that would occur if American Christians found out they were actually going to get persecuted. But there's a lot of middle ground between calling for their removal and pretending they aren't racist. Christianity has been the cornerstone of the most racist cultures in modern history. Even in the modern day, it continues to correlate heavily with bigotry. And of all the elements of culture that Christians seem ready to fight for, I can't identify a single one that isn't rooted in bigotry. So, yeah, white Jesus is a bigoted symbol because he's a man of color forced into artistic white face, but all the more so because he symbolizes a bigoted thing.